Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Walde Play Designs, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an invisible join when you're crocheting. If you take a look here, this is where I ended this round around this piece. And I began with a chain four and created my picots, and then did a series of single crochets all the way around the side, the bottom, and the other side and I ended that here. And as you can see, the join is completely invisible. You cannot tell where I actually finished this piece off. So if you take a look at this other piece that I crocheted, I went ahead and cut my yarn to show you this. I finished my final single crochet along this flat edge. And normally to finish off your crochet piece, you would just slip stitch like so your last stitch and you would pull it through. And as you can see, there is a huge gap here and an ugly yarn over. Now there is an easy way to just weave this onto a tapestry needle and kind of hide that join. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do a nicer join. Just a way to finish off any of your uh, crocheted pieces. So I completed that last single crochet now you'll cut your yarn, leaving probably about a four to six inch tail, and you'll pull that tail through. Okay, so after you pull through that tail, you're gonna put it to the front of your work, and then we're gonna locate the first stitch of this round that we completed, and that was this chain four in our first pico. So you're gonna take your hook and pass it through both loops of that chain, and then you're gonna grab this tail hook that tail around your hook and pull it through those two loops, just like so. So we've passed it through behind that chain or that first stitch of the whatever you have worked up. And then we're going to come in behind this top loop here of the last stitch that we worked and that was a, a single crochet. So you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna pass it through from back to front this right loop. Show that a little, so you can see it a little better here. So we've passed it through. Now we're going to grab that tail, hook it over, and pull through that loop. So if you look here, essentially we have just created an extra stitch or an extra chain right here. It's kind of like duplicate stitch when you're doing knitting, if you're familiar with that. And that is how we joined this piece to our first chain of this work. And that was our first pico from this edging at the top. And then this is our last pico at the end of this top edge. And as you can see, they just look like little V's at the tops of these stitches. And it just mirrors on this side. So that creates a nice seamless join. And then of course you would turn your work behind and you can continue to use your hook or use a, a large uh, tapestry needle to weave this tail in to your work. And as you can see, it's invisible on the back or the wrong side as well. So that's how we create an invisible join. I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching. 